Welcome back to Detention. Let's use the radio to find another place and another time to go to. So we've already been to this one. This is the same as the other one. Well, similar to the other one. It's the same room, but everything's obviously upside down, and... This is... Oh, that's probably the piggy bank. I think the piggy bank fell and broke. Yeah. Ceramic piggy bank. Broken up for one's desires. It's a puddle of clear water on the ground. There's footsteps. I do have this glass of juice. Like, I don't know why I would want to color this clear puddle, but something about it specifically being called a clear puddle makes me think, maybe if I color it, I'll be able to see where the footsteps go for longer before they disappear. Maybe? Yeah. Now it glows. What about the footsteps, though? Hmm. It didn't seem to help. Maybe I need to turn the lights off or something. Glow in the dark? Oh. This is definitely a follow the footsteps thing. Gotta go through the right door or else you end up in the same place. Aha! Uh -huh. Light switch. There we go. for private investigator. Husband cheating. Comes home late. We specialize in tracking people. Looks like an ad for a PI firm. Back then, lying in bed, I could hear mom and dad chatting through the walls. They had such a bond back then. I don't know when their idle chatter turned into deafening silence. Later, dad only came home when he got roaring drunk. Mom always huddled in a corner, trying to hide her tears. What's with the color? It's flashing... <gasps> flashing red. Yes, I can change the time. This is... This is what those symbols were before. Where I, uh, I saw the glowy things on the wall and the, the middle one was a picture of me and it, it cried tears of... Well, glowy sadness that collected into that cup that I poured into the puddle. That's what these were. 
One of the nice things about recording episodes for YouTube is that I have a uh, recording that I can look back on to see exactly what I've already encountered. So I just brought that up to see where this was pointing before. Uh, this left one is correct. The right one is not, though. So the right one is the big one down, and then the small one is, I think, not pointing at 8, but pointing at 7. There we go. I don't know what I just did other than make the middle clock bloody. I don't see how that helps me. I'm a bit disturbed by that, and I wonder what it's going to look like when we leave this room. But, uh, so what I did is I noticed that the photos, the, the pictures on the wall, were actually rotated different ways. The left picture was rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise, and the picture on the right was upside down. So I had to just translate them to their correct orientations, given that these are both right side up, but the pictures were not. And there we go. <laughs> One day, Dad came home inebriated and tripped at the front door. I couldn't stand seeing him on the ground all the time, so I went over to give him a hand. Besides the stench of smoke, there was another smell. A faint smell of powdered makeup. teacher's desk. On it are plenty of assignment papers. What is this? It looks like a crack. It looks like a crack in a mirror. At first I thought maybe it was like tree limbs or something, but no, that definitely looks like a crack in a mirror. But it's overlaid over me like I'm watching myself in a mirror. I guess there's nothing to do in here? Yeah. So I wonder what all this is leading to. Like, I'm doing all these things in, in different places and different times through the radio, but... Like, what's my big goal? What am I accomplishing? Let's go back and save and then find another place. Wait, were those the only ones? Yeah, just those two. Hmm. We don't have any inventory items anymore. Not sure what to do. Oh. So this is different. This is, I guess, the right time and the right place now to go through this door. Whoa. I've received your paper plane. I was truly worried you were still having trouble at home. 
but it looks like my concern was slightly unfounded. Like the white daffodil, you are innocent, vain and candid in nature. Perched aside a pond in snow white, admiring your reflection. Being different from others can be a tough way to live. God, I hate this person already, what a prick. But I think I can understand that feeling. You said you want to learn more about my time abroad. All I can say right now is that my past is rather complicated. Unfortunately, many horrible things have happened on this land in the last decade. Believe it or not, our society wasn't always like this, oppressive and cold. Perhaps we should take a stroll down the boulevard on the weekend. There are things our censored textbooks don't mention, but are definitely worth knowing. Toss my worries out and receive your guidance. station's channel launched 103 well that's convenient shaped mirrors made out of shards, each one with its own light switch. And then a door. The knob turns, but the door won't budge. Strange quote on the door. Follow that shadow in the dark, then you will be closer to the truth. Do I need to turn them all off, or...? What? I'm looking for something in the mirror, but I don't see anything special. Am I trying to see if my reflection changes? Oh. Follow the mirror. The shadow in the mirror. Okay. going the opposite way now. What is... Hmm. It's not even there. Do I need to maybe turn them on? In, like, the right order? Now it's just gone completely. This one goes whatever way I'm facing. This one goes the opposite way that I'm going. I don't understand. Oh. So turning that one off didn't make it disappear. Maybe when it goes in an opposite direction, you want to turn it on? Aha! 
Aha. Father's study is always neat and tidy. He always gave off an air of seriousness, with a little bit of his own humor. Oh, a coin! That must be for the piggy bank. The theater's ticket counter. Shut tight. If I had to guess, I would bet that I put the coin in the piggy bank in the one reality, switch to the other reality where the piggy bank is broken, because the world's upside down, and then probably after it's broken there'll be a theater ticket? That's my guess. Let's see. Put coin in piggy bank. Mm-hmm. Movie ticket. Whoa! This is very cheery compared to everything we've seen. Well, sort of. Sort of cheery. There is a, a brain there being squished down. I didn't even have to put my movie ticket anywhere. Day and welcome. We hope you enjoy your movie. got it back. Dependent. I was afraid that was going to happen. So... So the... I don't... I'm not exactly sure what that person was. School counselor or something? Obviously much, much older than Ray, who I, if I remember right, I think, think they were 17? Entered into a relationship with them. We're really just piling on the horrible stuff, aren't we? So kind of at the start of it, they live in a, a very oppressive place under martial law and their lives are highly controlled. Something so simple as just reading a book can put you in danger. Add on to that, Ray had family troubles. Their mother and father argued all the time, which seems to be pr probably entirely because the father was a alcoholic and also cheated on their mother and also um, the school counselor was well we haven't exactly gotten confirmation that the counselor abused Ray but entering into a relationship is uh, about 90% of the way there
Oh, you know, hold on. I was wondering what the relevance of this was. Ad for a private investigator. Husband cheating, come home late. We specialize in tracking people. I wonder if the wife hired a private investigator. Search warrant. Search warrant issued by the district court with a list of public officials involved in a bribery scheme. When I went home that day, father had already been taken away. I asked mom what had happened. She quietly replied, Dad got his hands dirty, but he'll live. Hearing this, I felt as if she was smiling underneath. Hmm. Either just happy that they were gone, or I wonder if they actually did something to cause it. I certainly don't blame the mother either way, though. Simon book. A reasonable excuse to enter the counseling office. Ah, right. That was... Or was the counselor's office? Oh, I guess it must be here. Because this is certainly new. So many paper airplanes. So many worries to toss out. The teacher's desk on it are plenty of assignment papers. Miss Fang, the counseling process is near its end. I'm glad you're back on track. And hopefully won't be needing me anytime soon. If there isn't anything else, you should return to class now. Still have plenty of assignments to look at. Counseling records, it's over. No matter what's been written on here, there's only farewell. Not sure what I should be doing with this. I've got a paper airplane and counseling records. What do I do with that? Oh, the main room is different. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we'll see what's behind the curtains.